guys. So today I'm going to attempt to go into Big Lots. Um, I just got out of an appointment and I'm like, you know what, before I go home, I'm going to go ahead and see if Big Lots has anything. Um, I saw somebody else post a video on YouTube and it looks like Big Lots dropped all their stuff. But you know, I'm in Arizona. It just seems like we're a little behind the times here. Things don't happen as often as they do other places. <laughs> So anyways, I'm just going to go and check it out. It's 107 right now. It's pretty, pretty hot here, but yeah, let's go check it out anyways. And then I think when I get home, after I perform my reading for my other channel, I think I'm going to start dipping into some of my Halloween decor so that way you guys can start seeing some stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we go. I hope I'm not disappointed. Well, it looks like we're in luck. Yippee.
holy smokes, back in the car. So what do you guys think? I only got one thing. What do you think that I got out of everything you guys just saw? You wanna see? Yes! <laughs> this was just so cool to me. An actual mummy doing the moves to Thriller. I'm sorry, I just had to get this. It was 24 bucks. Oh, we're probably gonna copyright on this. And what did I say? I knew that my cats were gonna use these as sleeping pads. These aren't drying mats, these are sleeping pads, aren't they, Star? All right, Midnight and Indy, do you think that we should go through the Halloween stuff? I mean, we can't go through all of it, but we could just at least chip the tip of that iceberg. All right, I'm going in. All right, so this is the infamous shed where we pretty much keep all the holiday stuff. Wow, this is really hot. Ooh, this looks like a freaking nightmare. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to get through Christmas before I get to the Halloween. Shit, we didn't pack this right. Hey, but look who I found, Michael Myers, immediately. I can see all of my Halloween signs there. At least I kept that organized. All right, so you know what I just decided? Because it seems like everybody just kind of has, you know, a skeleton in their passenger seat of their car. I think I'm gonna use Annabelle. Annabelle, do you wanna come Halloween shopping with me? She says yes. All right, what's in here? Ooh, that looks like a good one. All right, so we have the Pennywise clown. I got a few dolls from the, I think they're called Living Dead Dolls. They're pretty small, but they're very, very cute. So I have Pennywise. I also have Annabelle. I have Pinhead. And I know I have more. So let's see what else. All right, a light up skull. I can always use one of those. Ooh. And I got this one from Walmart, I think a few years back, and it lights up, which is very cool. Hey, Star, do you want to see a doll head? Ooh. Mm. Okay, and I must have got this from Big Lots a couple of years ago because I just saw this today. It lights up, so you just kind of turn on this, I know I should leave the others and stuff, but I do. Ooh. Oh, that's right. And this is actually a projector, so it projects onto the wall. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm so bad. And what's cool about it is that you can just use the lights and turn off the sound because that sound can be a little annoying. What the heck is this? Oh, it's my Michael Myers bobblehead. I actually got this off of Amazon, you guys. I think it was like 20 bucks. Isn't he so cute? I love him. Michael Myers is definitely my favorite horror villain. Halloween, the original, and number two are just probably just some of the scariest horror flicks to me. That's just my opinion. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. This was actually a gift from my stepmom and dad. Isn't it like a little 50s drive-in? Um, I think they got this from Cost Plus. Actually, it's called World Market Today. Oh, here's the balloon for Pennywise. Ah, it's the ghost face bobblehead. And I actually ordered this one off of Spirit Halloween online. Um, I think it was last year, very cool. And these were some ceramic art pieces that we actually bought, my daughter and I, from Michael's Crafts last year. And it's cool because they light up. Isn't this so neat? I love anything that lights up. Star, do you want to be friends with the Living Dead dolls? This is kind of like Christmas for me too, you guys, because I don't remember everything that I have. So it's like Christmas morning every time I do this. What is this? It looks like a pumpkin. Ooh, this was a Michael's Craft Store uh, decoration from a couple years back. Isn't that so classy looking? Oh, I love it. I usually use this like in a bathroom. Yo, Peaches, I'm trying to make a video. And here's the other ceramic piece from Michael's. My daughter painted this one. Doesn't it look so cool? Another light up. 
Okay, another random I think goes with this. Maybe I think they're too small for tea lights, but okay. Hey, it's my Ouija board. Well, it's like a mouse pad, but it's pretty huge. So I actually use these as placements. I forget where I got this. Got these at the Dollar Tree one year. I mean, they're kind of cheap and everything, but I like to use these in the kitchen. So we've got spiders, web, deadly dinner, or sorry, diner. <laughs> and then all like the little specialties. And then I thought this was kind of cool too, the bat wing bar and grill. Just really cute in the kitchen. I think I got this at um, Hobby Lobby one year. It lights up, it's got orange lights, battery operated. So it looks really good garland over something. Okay, so this is a big ass bag full of just God knows what, a bunch of random stuff. We got skeleton hands. I think we've got like bats. I like to do silhouettes, especially, you know, cause I've got white wall, well, it's kind of like a off, like grayish wall. So it, like this kind of stuff looks really good on it. I like to use any kind of stickers like this for soda pop bottles or just, you know, drink dispensers for Halloween party. Oh, and then this, these are kind of cute. So I usually will do a bathroom and kind of like a bloody butcher scene. So I like to hang these from like the ceiling or the shower curtain. Anyways, there's a lot of stuff in this. I don't want to go through everything, but that's just a little bit. Hey, we got uh, another Ouija board here, but this is an actual one from Parker Brothers. So it's hard. You can put it on the lap. Again, I do like to use these as placemats, but a couple of years ago, and I'll have to show you guys on a different video, I don't remember where I got them now. I'm drawing a blank, but I got a, a set of six. Oh, it was Ross. I got a set of six of uh, placemats. So they're placemat materials of Ouija boards. So cute. And then we've got, oh, another Ouija board. Look at this, um, crematorium. Oh, this is cute. Looks like it's kind of faded, but hey, you know what? That kind of makes it look even better. And then we've got another Ouija board. Oh, this is glow in the dark Ouija board. I don't know what the hell that is. Hmm. And then we just got a couple more scragglers. Oh, this is for my dancing broom that I bought from Cracker Barrel one year. So I've got to obviously find the rest of that. And then we got a cross. I like to hang it upside down just for spooky effect, not for anything evil. Anyways, you guys, that is my first box. So box number one of Halloween. So I guess we'll go ahead and continue, I guess, this kind of process hopefully opening up maybe one a day. So that way I can get this stuff up and start decorating for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you later. Bye.